I hope you all are staying warm uh, and dry during this uh, snowy uh, weekend in, in Chicago. Uh, this Shabbat, just to remind you all, uh, we have a guest scholar, Rabbi Dr. Shlomo Zokir, who is an old friend and a emerging significant voice in American modern orthodoxy. Uh, he's a, a lambdan, a Torah scholar, and an academic, uh, and a really at a mensch, an interesting person, a good teacher. So I, I hope you'll take advantage of the opportunities that we have uh, to learn with him. He's speaking tonight following Tfilot in Shul, so you can just delay your, your dinner a little bit. It's a very, very early Shabbat still, and, and, and learn a little bit of Torah and a little bit of Jewish history um, following Tfilot. And he'll be speaking in the Drusha slot tomorrow morning at the 9 a.m. Minyan, and then on Sunday, he'll be teaching over Zoom, and we can, you know, you can join in on the, from the comfort of your home, or you can uh, participate uh, and, and watch the, the Zoom the Zoom shear uh, from a, a watch party at the shul uh, Sunday morning. And the information is all in the bulletin; it's in your email. But I just want to personally, as it were, invite you and encourage you to attend. Um, Parshat Mishpatim uh, is the first of the parshat in the Torah that are really chock full of mitzvah. It's one of the um, the, the sections of the Torah, mitzvah after mitzvah after mitzvah, uh, and these mitzvot are all varieties uh, of mitzvah that we find in the Torah. They're all in Parshat Mishpatim. So that includes interpersonal mitzvot about uh, somebody's, you know, ox damaging somebody else's ox. They are uh, ritual mitzvot. They're religious mitzvot, um, and and all of these genres of mitzvah are are um, combined in the Torah, verse after verse, back and forth. Uh, to tell us that that distinction itself, the distinction of mitzvot into categories, uh, the ones that are very rational, the ones that are less under easily understood, the ones that are common to all humanity, um, every society has some version of some of these prohibitions and, and obligations, and some of them are, are uniquely Jewish. I think that's telling us that uh, the effort to discriminate among mitzvot uh, is ultimately uh, contrary to the Torah's understanding that each and every mitzvah uh, fits together like a jigsaw puzzle into a cohesive Whole of our relationship with God. And that also is in Parshim Mishpatim, which also describes not just uh, the mitzvah, but also the, um, the encounter between the Jewish people and God, the forming of a covenant between the Jewish people and God, the, the mystical um, approach of Moshe uh, to Shemayim. Uh, and and um, it, it's a, um, it's all there. It's all there because Ultimately, the ritual and the ethical, the rational and the less rational, the uniquely Jewish and the common to all mankind, these are all together in the Torah, and all of these are part and parcel as well of our of our spiritual um, our spiritual striving. Okay, our spiritual striving is through mitzvah observance of all kinds and, and cultivating excellence in mitzvah observance. And our spiritual striving is also through Torah study, through the study of those mitzvot and the detailed details of those mitzvot. That's the core of our Talmudic heritage, which is the primary way that Jews have um, you know, engaged in intellectual pursuits and religious pursuits and spiritual pursuits for, uh, for centuries. Uh, and so I, I guess that's an invitation as well. I think um, you know all of us in our community, one way or the other, we all love Judaism, we all love Torah, we all love mitzvot, and that's why we're part of this shul community. Um, I, I think the connection to mitzvot, though, when you care about them in a really deep way, and you're very you care about observing them in a meticulous way and in a comprehensive way, is ju it's just a just another level of of what you get out of of them, right? I I would you know. If you haven't tried, I encourage you to try, okay? Uh, I think you get so much more from, from Shabbat, from Kashrut, from Tefillah, um, from Tzedakah, right? If, if you engage in these mitzvot, not just in a casual way, uh, but in a meticulous way, in a conscientious way, concern for the details that the Torah seems to emphasize uh, so much. And uh, I think as well, I think uh, if Torah study is something that you've uh, done in a casual way, you know, when the opportunity presents itself way, I encourage you to to experiment with what what it, what it would mean to have Torah study be a primary intellectual and spiritual endeavor to connect to these laws to study the laws the details of the details of these laws themselves as a way to connect uh, to the mind of God to serve God with our minds and intellects as we try to comprehend and categorize and make sense of uh, the mitzvot of the Torah and the and the text in which those mitzvot are conveyed. Uh, looking forward to seeing you, uh, hearing from you. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Shabbat.